We'll start easy. Can you just say and spell your name? Uh, yeah, my name is Eden Puente, E-D-E-N-P-U-E-N-T-E. I grew up in the south suburbs of Chicago, Steger, Illinois. Um, graduated high school in 2001 and um, joined the military right after. Um, went to basic training and then was deployed to Iraq in One of the things veterans struggle with when they come home from wars asking for help. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that I had a 10 year bout with and uh, really, um, you know, put me in the lows of low and, and severe depression and PTSD. And it was, um, it was a friend, a, a veteran friend who told me, you need to go do this. And that was going to the VA and asking for help. And, you know, I fought it for a couple years, but finally giving into it, it opened up a lot of doors. And one of those doors was actually getting to go to that clinic for veterans. And uh, that's where I would meet, um, I would meet one of my mentors that I still have to this day, who's a PGA pro. Um, his name is Juan Espejo. Uh, he's from Maryville Academy. And uh, he came out and just started giving lessons and uh, really, uh, you know, indoors and chipping and putting basic skills. But I really, I loved how he gave the lessons and, and really broke it down. And, um, soon after, I became a member of the um, VGA, the Veterans Golfers Association here in Illinois, and uh, started competing in tournaments and um, getting a little bit better, uh, lowering my handicap and really trying to hone in on, on my skills and um, I found comfort and peace on the golf course and it was, you know, it was there where, you know, I hit a bad shot, uh, I was still okay. I felt like, you know, hey, there's a safe way to do this, to get back out and, and you know, try to post a better score than I would normally do. And I think that was, that was a life lesson for me. It was like, you know, hey, um, sometimes asking for help is, is just chipping it onto the fairway mm -hmm. instead of trying to go for it. I, I say golf did two things for me that I didn't know um, it would ever do, and that's saved my life and also give me purpose. And how it saved my life was it uh, donates a dog to Canines for Warriors and it covers the food, medical bills, the training for the dog. I was truly in a bad space. I was really uh, struggling with PTSD um, and with anxiety, um, isolating myself at home a lot. And um, I just, uh, I had that, that bout of, you know, really not finding a care to you know, motivate myself. Mr. Kim and I have been paired together since uh, 2019, and um, we've gotten to we've gotten to do some uh, pretty cool things. Uh, we were the first uh, service dog duo to play Whistling Straits, and uh, we we've gotten to play some courses uh, all over the country again. And um, it's because of him that I've been uh, more comfortable uh, in public settings. And uh, actually, uh, I've been off meds since I've had him and I think that's been the the best takeaway for me. Again, while we provide tournaments for veterans, um, we love to see them in scrambles. We love to see them in other opportunities um, that really get to to grow their game but also grow their community. Um, and that's really the, the bridge that we're looking to partner with the CDGA for is giving them um, a more of a, a community within uh, the Chicagoland area. Veterans are really coming out. They're looking to be challenged physically, mentally, and uh, golf really combines that very well.